Yeah, very unusual. A uh, couple of beautiful days to start. Good wind for us, upwind, um, and she likes upwind sailing. Um, just hit a hole as we got to the rock, which cost us a bit of time. Uh, but then coming back, it's been good as well. But getting slightly more English in terms of our expectations of the weather as we got closer to home. So. Now, tell us about Looper of London. She is more, I think, more of a yacht. Some of the boats we've seen finished so far are absolute racing machines, aren't they? Yeah, this is a 15-year-old cruising boat. So we're very pleased the way she's performed. Um, she's done well in the Caribbean this winter, um, but we wanted to bring her home and see how she'd do in home waters. And uh, obviously we don't know the results yet, but we're pleased the way we sailed the race and think we'll get a good result. We were certainly in the top 10 or so of, of actual finishers, so you know, it must be great to be in. It is, it's nice to, it's nice to be in. Um, I mean, it's, it took us about the time we thought we'd make it in. Um, and the weather was slightly better for us than forecast, a bit more wind, particularly in the second half of the race than we're expecting, but yeah, very pleased with the way things have gone. Uh, now, what about uh, in terms of handicap? How do you think you've done? Well, I think in the keelboat class, uh, we should finish quite well. Uh, we're just waiting to see. We give three hours, 36, I think, to the next boat in behind us. So we've just got an anxious three hours to wait here on the dock to see how we finish. But we should be second in the keel, but in the canting keel class, I think, yeah. It's always a nail biter, isn't it, on handicap? It is, it is. But uh, that's the way it is, so we'll just see. What was the best part then for you for this fast net? I think such a nice start, such a good weather start. It was really exciting going down the Solent. We had to come, you know, last class to start. So we had to work our way through 320 other boats, uh, which was quite interesting at times. Um, so that was a very good start. But lovely weather to start. You could see what was going on, nice sunny skies. So th that was a great bit, yeah. And then you just have to get stuck into the work of the race. It was quite an uphill slog to the fast net. Uh, what was your fast net rounding like? It was, as I say, it was poor. We got there and it took us four hours to do the last two or three miles. Um, and then we found some wind by going further west and had a good finish coming back down. But that really cost us that top, uh, the rounding of the rock, actually. Yeah. So as a, as a cruising boat, um, did you have, um, should we say, not freeze-dried meals? Did you have uh, proper food? Oh, we have three cooked meals a day, ice creams and desserts after every meal. Yeah, no, we're very well... Uh, very well catered for on board. If we do nothing right, at least we eat well during the race. And that's what it's about, isn't it? It is. It's a rather Corinthian approach to yachting that we take, I think, yeah. Well, Jeremy, fingers crossed for the, uh, for the handicap. That's then. very and, kind. Uh, Thank let's you. Let's hope the weather improves a bit around here because it's horrible rainy weather, but uh, enjoy the arrivals now. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.